So today we'll be unboxing the coveted Mad Cat Street Fighter 4 Collector's Edition Tournament Edition Arcade Fight Stick. So this is a heck of a box that it comes in. You get an official Street Fighter 4 Tournament Edition Fight Stick like certificate thing here. Uh, we want to thank you for purchasing it, all that kind of noise. And then you've got a little window here into the box. So we're going to start breaking these seals and uh, we'll get this baby out. So we've got the Xbox 360 version of the fight stick with us today, but it is available in both Xbox 360 and PS3 versions. So this will fold up. This is a great box. I really like it. So you got your Street Fighter 4 logo here. Get the box open. So accessories. Now I have to confess, I'm not much of a Street Fighter junkie, so I won't really know too much about it, but it looks like this is an adapter cable for using a console headset. So it comes with that right out of the box. That's kind of nice to see those thoughtful accessories included for us. So I'm gonna have, wow, this is a huge box. And this thing is actually quite heavy. So I'm gonna have to, here we go, pull this out. Let's put the box aside for a second here, get the packing materials in there. You can see the whole box is like a glossy black. It's kind of nice. Okay, so let's start at the back of the fight stick. So we've got our start and back buttons up on the shoulder here. And then inside you've got your USB cable. So that's what you'll use to connect it to your Xbox 360. It's uh, stored in a nice little reusable compartment. You run the wire through that hole right there. Let's go around to the side. So glossy white finish on the sides. And then just a matte black finish here. And here's the headphone jack that uh, we can use to plug in our headphones. Yeah, that's good stuff. Okay, so then on the other side, again, a glossy white finish, and I'm gonna flip it over to the back, where you can see that we've got little rubberized feet, so you can use those to make sure that your fight stick isn't gonna move around during your frantic gaming action. Okay, so up on the top, here's where the meat and potatoes of this particular thing is going to happen. Now, as I said, I confess I'm not a huge Xbox owner or a Street Fighter owner, but we've got a turbo button here, uh, LS, DP, and RS button here. You can lock or unlock something about it, and this seems to be some kind of Xbox button. <laughs> So then, basically you've got your joystick, which feels quite good actually. It seems like you can easily move it around without feeling like it's cheaply made or anything like that. I really like the overall quality of the surface here. You can kind of pound on this thing and it doesn't have that cheap feel that a lot of game controllers do. So anyway, thank you for checking out my unboxing on the Street Fighter 4 joystick.